about you and, and Julio and Derek being out there. How excited are you to finally get to the test on Sunday? Um, really, really excited. I'm excited just to strap strap the pads on, put my helmet on, and go out there and play play an actual game against somebody else. You know, practice is different, but like I'm, I'm just excited. I'm ready. I'm ready. To, I'm ready to play. Yeah, two Phil. years in the league, two years, one thousand yards. And in your mind, like, what what does AJ Brown to the next level look like? Um, just being a well complete receiver. Um, what I did in the past it doesn't matter. It's irrelevant. Um, just trying to make plays and uh, just be there when my when my team need me. So uh, I'm gonna try to think about all the old stuff. It don't matter. Physically, you feel like you're in a great place heading into week one. What, what, what are you there? I feel, I feel really good. Yeah. You gonna miss Malcolm? Am I gonna miss Malcolm? Yeah, Malcolm, my guy. Yeah. I uh. I would have liked to play against him, um, but you know, stuff happened. So, congrats to him on retirement. What's Bob heading into your, into your third year here? What's kind of feeling around this team, maybe around this offense, as you guys ready to kick off the season? I'm sorry, I'm, I ain't here. What, what, what's kind of vibe? You, you've been here. This is year three, four year. Things different this year. The feeling around this team different than maybe the first couple of years here. What's maybe the confidence level heading in? Um. I think I think the vibe is a lot of guys got a lot of confidence. Um, no, we got some real respected players, but we just got to go out there and, and, and play. Um, but I think the vibe is uh, we, we're preparing to win and uh, we expect to win. What have you been able to learn, uh, AJ? You spent a lot of time with Julio Jones and getting to know him this year. What have you kind of learned about him through training camp and uh, you know that maybe you didn't know before? Uh, he's a true professional. A lot of a lot of unseen business he does, uh, the way he works, the way he talks, uh, just everything. So uh, on the field, off the field, you know, just he's a pro. What do you guys talk about? I mean, you guys are almost always together, like right. what's on the field or I don't know, anywhere else. What, is it more football? Is it more non-football? What, what's the, the banner like? Um, It'd be a little bit of both. It'd be a little bit of both sometimes. Uh, mostly about football, sometimes about chess or checkers or – Dominoes, it's just, it, random stuff. Yeah. I was going to ask, I mean, did you, do you guys spend time away from the facility together? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we do. Do you fish with him? No, I don't do no fishing. I can't. It's too too slow for me. He's got to create patience. So yeah, that's I don't. Fun. I don't yeah, got okay. no patience. He he he, thirty two. I'm twenty four. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, let me say the right thing here because I don't want to get in trouble. Uh, no, you good, you good. Uh, that's a question for Mike Vrabel. Uh, but just know I'm going to be good to go on Sunday. Maybe the same thing happen next week. Be good to go. Do you appreciate the way that Vrabes kind of handles some of you guys in terms of preparation and maybe we don't see a lot of you during the week. Do you appreciate that as a player? Um, most definitely. We, ha we have the talks. Uh, we have the talks and uh, he's very understanding and like, like I said, everybody's different. You know, he's understanding to that. So, uh, like, I appreciate him. Um, so, uh, he knows me, so. You've watched a lot of film on, on the corridors. What's the challenge uh, for you guys this week where they do well on defense? Uh, locate Buda Baker. A lot of they got a lot of special guys, but uh person who stands out each and every play is Buda Becker. Hats off to him, and uh, he's definitely going to be a challenge. Hey, you mentioned being a more complete receiver, you know, for year three. In, in what ways, um, I guess, where, where are you kind of specific areas that you're looking um, to take that next step and to be that complete receiver you want to be? Uh, hands, feet, routes, finishing, finishing catches. Uh, Making the tough catches look easy. Just just being well rounded all the time and making plays over and over again. We asked Julio what he expects out of himself in week one. Mm -hmm. What what do you expect to see out of Julio? You know him better than Out of Julio? Yeah. You ask Julio that. Why don't you ask what you expect to see out of me? <laughs> uh, I'm pretty sure he's gonna show up and he's gonna he's gonna do his thing. I mean his resume speaks loud enough for himself. I mean what he told you? Uh, he said he's going to do what he's he does. Right. He's going to do what he does. <laughs> 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 you guys together, which, which is a Titans fan. 
guys you know, look forward to, whether it's this week or? Um, I know for me personally, um, if he make a big play, I'm definitely going to try to make a big big play. So I'm definitely going to try to lead off um, uh, and just use the momentum from each other, you know, and build and, and just keep going, you know, because like I said, I know what type of player he is on the other side and uh, I got to do my part most importantly.